What up? What up, everybody? It's the Normies, and we're here to do a movie reaction to Sardar Udom. Ooh, uh, nice pronunciation there, Mickey. Are you Punjabi Sikh? I am Punjabi Sikh. Wow, so am I. This movie might mean a lot to it. I'm just kidding. (laughs) Well, the guy is Sikh as well that this movie is based off of. So it is kind of an important movie. Mm -hmm. All our parents are Sikh. Do we practice the Sikh? Yeah, we're not like (laughs) practicing Sikhs, so it's not, you know, it's not not that deep. We're, we're a well. I wasn't born here, but I'm essentially an ABCD. So. Yeah, ABCD. <laughs> coconuts all around, brown on the outside, white on the inside. But we're uh, we're here to appreciate our heritage, and we heard this movie was a masterpiece and a very well done retelling of actual historical events. So. Mickey and I know a little bit about it. We don't have to share that right now. We'll yeah. just watch it. And I think the less you guys can give your opinions. Okay, too. can you tell at least what year or like what period? Nineteen nineteen. Yeah. To like okay. 20, 30 years after. Oh, that. for Super Year, I'm pleased. Like. Okay. Yeah. So, like World War One ish time. Yeah. Were Indians involved in World War? They were actually. British so, with, made with the British, fight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 I don't I don't know if this has anything to do with the war per se, but it's in that period. The British, I won't spoil anything, but yeah, the British. It, it, the, Br- they, they the British some, is in there. They some fucking yeah. fat, fat kids there. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm excited. I'm, I am i don't think this is going to be like a. Is this Bollywood? What? I think it is technically Bollywood. Yeah, it's you know, it's it's not not your traditional Bollywood that's, movie, and that's what I'm excited for. This this yeah. like I saw the trailer, and it definitely looks like a like an Oscar like, level. I, I heard Indian people don't like this movie because there's like no singing and dancing <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> so, no dramatic zoom ins. No, I, I prefer that's only the soaps. I mean, the subject matter. I don't know if you could have singing and dancing in this, you know. But no, yeah, yeah. Do you guys make fucking gonna cry at the end of this movie? Well, <laughs> I do want to see what happens. Maybe super. Curious. Well, guys, uh, remember it's not a market substitute. Uh, this is available in 4K UHD on on Amazon. So if you're a Prime member, you can watch this. Go check it out there. Then come back and join us for our reactions and reviews. And if you want to see the uncut of this, because this is a almost a three hour movie, so what you're seeing on YouTube is like a small portion. We put the uncuts up. You have to provide your own copy on our Patreon, and uh, you can watch along with us. So that's pretty cool. If you don't want to do that, comment down below, like, subscribe, all that jazz, and uh, yeah. And let's get it. Also, I'm Serge. I'm Mickey. I'm Patrick. I'm Marqueta. I'm Spidey. Hi. And we got, we're about to do this. Oh, she said at the noise. beginning, but it's okay. Oh, yeah, this is it. I'm um, Fucking Reginald Dyer. Por qué? It wasn't even violent or nothing either. The one who got assassinated? Mm-hmm. He's the bad one. Oh? Straight diabetes in a ball. That's what it is. <laughs> right? It's so good. The energy, though. This looks like my grandfather's house in Hisharpur, Punjab. Same. Legit. Looks like my grandparents' house, too. Same exact door, man. Damn, already? Oh, well, I guess so. Not something you want to hear from anyone ever. Uh, damn. That's actually a really big deal for like somebody seek to like cut their hair like mm-hmm. that. Yeah, because a seek is not supposed to cut their hair, yeah. technically. Like, like ever? Out. Yeah. Yeah. From you're, childhood? Yeah, you're not supposed to no like alter all, it's like your <clears throat> the belief is like God has given you a perfect body as is. He looks so different. He does. Wow, he's yeah, he looks like a completely different guy. <laughs> We're not seeing like the, the glorious parts of India either, you know. It's just humble beginnings here in the mid 20th century. I think they're in Punjab, right? This takes place in Punjab. I believe so. We found an application of a new passport for England, sir. Sher Singh. But the passport issued in the name of Uday Singh, sir. Send through all the old photographs you have and the aliases, and we'll do what we can to help. Right, sir. This is two years later? U.S. is Yeah. Hard. Okay. This, uh, this story Mother spans Russia. a lot of years. Yeah, this dude has been... Because it, it was 1919 now, then 1931, 1933. I'm hoping they go back to 1919, to yeah. So he went up to Afghanistan and then up to Russia. Mm-hmm. That's a hike. Okay, we're jumping around. 
घंटी तो हमारे बाद गया शेर अंग्रेज लड़के कम्फर्टेबल हो गए एडजस्ट कर गए उनको ये नहीं पता की सारी फैसिलिटी इन्होंने अपने लिए बना रखी है रेलवे नेटवर्क तो इन्होंने पूरा जम किया और पूरा अंदर तक लूटने के लिए बनाया यहाँ हमारे घर पे डाका डाला I should go sleep. Oh shit. This is like almost 10 years after the massacre. The massacre was 1919, this is 27. Apna chira kan chalata nahi hai lekin laata bahut hai. Yeah, ladies arming up too. Shit, they got like TNT and shit. Holy yeah. shit. You never know you got what you're running to out here. Walking in the cold takes so much energy. And they don't even have the The big yeah. Yeah. Ye shop se hoy ye lagra nahi sui ji. They're showing him the border. Yeah, I think. He understands Russian. Shit, that'd be scary, dude. I'd be staying with the group. Straight right. across this plane. <laughs> that would be so scary, but also kind of peaceful. I don't know about peaceful. Oh, tracks. Those tracks. Yeah. Driving vehicle tracks, or like a cart, well, horse, or something. Not. Sled dogs. <laughs> oh shit. Everybody's helping him. Good babushka. Plus, this is just really cool because I just love period peace movies. It took him a year. Clean shaven. Well, that what we just saw was 1927. The the time hopping is a little confusing, but no, 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 no. They're kind of. Giving you the dates and then hopping around. Twenty-seven is when they were arming up. Mm. Him in the winter. That was thirty-three. Pretty sure. I don't know. Here we go. Because he's nice and clean-shaven again. Here. That's the only reason I think. I think when they show us the dates, is that's when the date is. Oh, please. That looks legit. That's his actual name. Sure. Why not? We got the two dictators, Adolf Hitler and Benito Mussolini, have previously met in Venice. Nazis cheered the fascist leaders who agreed on the hands-off of Austria. I didn't realize Hitler and Mussolini were in cahoots way before even WW2 popped off. Yeah, he was already in power. Tensions were rising. Yeah. Don't trust him. Are you looking extra sketch? What is right? It's just our image. So in this time, there's no one left. So you'll be alone here. We'll do a group. We don't have any funds. Whatever is, we have to think very carefully. We have to pay very much attention. Here, there are so many Indians. They are sitting in their comfortable drawing room. How will they be placed? Who's the name of the place? Sherzai. Don't change the name. Do some new work. Here, I'll tell you in the language. Say it for some time. And with Johal, you'll meet in the Gurdwara tomorrow. When did you say the last time with Bhagat Singh? Before you go, I told you to go outside and support him. Let's go outside. <laughs> That's all he eats so far. Yeah, you're right. He had soup. Yeah, Babushka gave him some soup. <laughs> oh, right. He had some roti with that one girl. <sighs> oh, that sucks, man. For that to just be a regular thing. <sighs> the asshole. Yeah. Dyer is the one who was actually there to call the shooting right yeah he's the one that actually gave the command and then, for them to fire but everything it was happening under the watch of odwire odwire so odwire is a big honcho yeah. he's the one to call the shots yeah got gotcha. he wanted both of them but one has already died of seeming i guess natural causes revenge is hard Right. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta walk through Afghanistan and <clears throat> USSR. Sometimes man revenge tastes so damn good. Yeah, but is it always the answer? Sometimes. Sometimes, sometimes it is. Is that the boy? Oh, he's he's You're going to houses and checking them off. Damn, that's a common ass name then. Damn. Jesus. <laughs> Six years later. It is uh, quite a bit of jumping around. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm quickly confused out here now. All right, we are well into World War II now. Of the East India Association and the Royal Central Asian Society, I made sure that the Indians contributed generously to the war loan. The empire was and is a force for good. <laughs> It is not only our right but our duty to rule India. Oh, fuck oh, off! Okay. They will return to savagery, mm. looting and killing one another. Mm. It is not only Africa, ladies and gentlemen, but it's the white man's burden. <laughs> <laughs> The white man's burden. Oh, what a burden it is. Oh, man. Oh, my God. He's about to do it. Oh! Yeah, boy. Got your ass back. Clap, clap. Damn. Oh, shit. Clap, clap. I didn't know he shot more people. You have been unburdened. Damn. <laughs> yep. That Sweet should have been his one-liner. He didn't have a game plan again now, did he? I don't think he gives a fuck. I don't think so. He, he, he didn't want to his like, next move or anything like that. I mean, he was in jail for a while, right? Oh, no, that was just the beginning. Then we flashed back. He'd been in jail, traveling around. Yeah, so he's all right going back. He's, he's lived the life. He's like, nah, fuck it. 
He said, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, he's he's like happy as right. fuck. I thought we were going to like build up to this. Yeah, it's interesting uh, storytelling. Yeah. Michael O'Dwyer, the former lieutenant governor of the Punjab during the time of the Amritsar Affair. The Amritsar Affair. He served the British Empire dutifully in the most turbulent period of time in the Punjab. Mm -hmm. Further links are being investigated, but we will not tolerate Ooh. such violence, such acts of terrorism. Fuck you. We will rise up against brutal crime. I doubt anyone even knows the full story yeah. at all. The Amritsar Affair. Especially it's already been 20 years at this point, so, you know, the general public, they don't know. What? What organization do you work for? Tell me the names of your associates. He might have acted alone, bro. This is the last place he lived? Yes, sir. Sir. Jesus. Jesus. Directory. Paxton Hall. You sure he's the same man? Certain of it, sir. Well, if he is our man and he came in six years ago, what the hell has he been doing since then? When did you enter England? Sir Janari. What do you know about this Cher Six? By the way, a Cher is a lion. Mr. Kopika, do you know this man? Yes. I had nothing to do with this killing. You deny your links to the Communist Party? No. He met you quite a few times. Yes, at the Gurdwara a couple of times, maybe. Just a couple? Maybe more, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> he's a small time businessman. His name is Baba. Fond of laddus. Mm -hmm. I mean, sweets. Very passionate about India's independence. We figured out he worked in a cotton mill in the Punjab in about uh, 1919. His mother died when he was six, his father soon after that. And wow. how did they die? How did they die? I don't know how they died. Uh, no, they, they died at an early age. Yeah, I think they died before the massacre. So a lot of fucked up shit's happened to this dude. He first settled in a small apartment in East London. He shifted residences almost every six months. I really like the storytelling in this movie. I like how it's like a biography from like, you know, different perspectives. Police complaint against him in 1937, publicly beating another Indian in a brawl at a bar in South <laughs> Damn, bro. Working in odd jobs as a stationary salesman. Also, an extra on a movie set. The fuck? Pointed at a flea market selling lingerie. He owns a Fiat car by now. Bro. Yeah, he does it all. I'm working as a welder in an iron factory in East London. This was about six months before the assassination. This whole time, he's just biding his time, doing different shit. You'd think you'd forget about it, right? You'd think you'd forget about it by then. Shit, now something like that. He was put under watch nine years ago, sir, when he left prison in India, and that time basically kept his head down and uh, lost track of him. A few weeks ago, we had a tip-off from the passport office. By the time we got there, he'd already fled. <laughs> Who are you? You thought you got them all, but you didn't. Is that you? We were to go one more time. Who are your associates? I do not feel men. I say that feel a little bit. What? From their perspective, this dude this is a crazy guy who just waltzed in and shot one of their governors, you know? Right. Yeah. You've eluded us for nine years. Yeah, so you must him. Tell me everything about the collaborators. The fuck are you? What is this shit over here? Torture. Uh, lashes. Oh. God. Who is the next attack for? <sighs> I don't think there is another attack, right? He just he just wanted to do that. Yeah, but. Just him. Try and give us one little letter. Tell me. I. Did he have any visitors? An Indian man and a lady. An Indian lady? No. British. Yes. A British woman, an active member of the Communist Party. I suspect he may have established links with other extremists through her. Elin uh, Palmer? You're not registered with the party, are you? Yes, yes, I was. In India? HSRA? I get things, HSRA. Do you know him? Oh. <laughs> I need help. I fight for freedom of my people. Fight for the freedom of the whole world. World? Uh, no. <laughs> That's a lot. That's, yeah, a, big, that's like, a big one, though. Like one, <laughs> one thing at a time. You equal, you march for being equal. I know equal. I know free. Because my country free. Then equal, then march. Equality. That's good, man. Priorities. I'm Detective Inspector Sway, and I'm in charge of your case. What is your actual name? No. <sighs> When do they realize it's a waste of time, or do they just like to do it? <laughs> when he's dead. Like, some part of his spine must be broken at this point. This is Scotland Yard. We will dig everything out, one way or another. I would tell him my name, and where I'm so, from, and what happened, and why I did what I did. Yeah. There's no way that a carefully planned assassination like this can be carried out without the support of a big organization. There has to be an organization. Copycop, SS Johal, Surat Ali. You honestly expect me to believe that they were not involved. What about Eileen Palmer? 
Ooh, got him there. It's already telling that he looked up at that name. So you admit that you know him. Surely then you knew that he was a wanted man before he came to England. His past is a mystery to me as well. Just how long have you known him? Four years. You knew him very well. Just a friend or maybe a little more than that? Don't you think that's personal? Were you aware of what he was planning to do? I already told you. I didn't know. Louis Connor. I regard me. I am, man. This dude Damn, is. Damn, all right, bro. Major Raiders, Irish Republican Army hideouts. Police have seized more than three tons of explosives. To join the Irish. Stop! No! Kid. Carrying books. Oh, really? Oh, double tap for what? Oh. And then just left him. The raid was significant in preventing the IRA from imminent acts of sabotage on British soil. You are planning something. Mm. How can I stop you? I need gun contact from IRA. I have nothing to do with them. My country? I'm prisoner. I hear. In exile. You want the freedom of your people. Go back. Fight shoulder to shoulder with them. Shoulder to shoulder? I want. I want. I can't. My party? I just are Everybody shot. Hanged. Or I fight. Different way. Please. Shit. Was that money? Yeah, it's money. Big box of money. He's just doing a bunch of fetch quests until he can get a gun and information. Three there on the left. Ah, only three. Ah. I want landing in India. You see Bloody Sunday? I see Bloody Sunday in India. No sleep in yours. Your revolution, my revolution, same. Common enemy. You lamb, me lamb. Butcher, same. Hmm. True. Yeah, he's very poignant with the few words that he can say. Yeah, he's just like, he's doing a good he's job. Bam. <laughs> he's so like, he helps send guns to India for them to use, I guess. We intercepted that shipment. Ah. Uh. British beliefs have filed an arms conspiracy between Irish and Indian rebels after a major consignment containing grenades, rifles, and pistols Damn. was intercepted. Yeah, I never knew the Irish and, in, and Punjabs had such a deep connection there. Our contacts to say that, right? Mission is not done. Yeah, Indians have surveillance a lot. If you can get here, you can get your contact here and get out of here. Thank you for helping. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I keep fighting. He knows no other way to fight, right? I mean... You don't want someone to assassinate someone. You don't want them to be communists, but it's just them against the world right now. We've confirmation now that you re-entered from Russia. Who did you meet? The Red Army? Another arms deal, perhaps? You, like anti-colonial country, ke support ke bina, hume sunne ka kaun? Imperialistic British ke khilaaf, aapki awaaz uthani bahut zaruri. Humare comrades ke paas weapons nahi hai ladne ke liye. Ladenge kaise? We need weapons. Hum aapki baat polis bureau mein pesh karenge. Par main baada karta hoon ki Soviet Union aapke saath hai. Damn, you make a big these are some big tables, bro. Do you really think that the Nazis and the Russians would lend a helping hand and we just stand idly by? You want us to believe that you came back only for a dua? Yeah. I mean, yeah. And whoever else was in that room. Yeah. At least he didn't start indiscriminately shooting at people hiding. Right. Like old wired it. What was the other guy's name? Dyer? Oh, that mm -hmm. was already dead. Yeah. I think I think he's the one that was really there, but O'Dwyer was the one that was like, yeah, yeah, yeah do o that. O'Dwyer was like the mayor. It was like 10 to 15 minutes of straight shooting. Oh shit, he was watching them, dude. And inevitably, if we come to Amritsa, we talk about General Dyer. I have no hesitation in saying that General Dyer's action that day was the decisive factor in crushing the rebellion. Yeah. The Indian Congress made a report that's called the Indian Congress Report on the Punjab, most of it written by Gandhi, and in that he says that it was my intention to crush political consciousness in India. My intention was to crush lawlessness and rebellion. Come on, bro, get one bottle. Breathe. Hey. Good thing no one ever noticed him. Right? He is just like super close by, bro. <laughs> you got a cap on you. Yeah, a cap. You need to watch yeah. you. <laughs> Exquisite. How much for the box? Three. So, what? Okay. She just killed him right here. I know you, sir. I serve below you. You governor. I work at factory railways, India. India, oh. Damn, this dude was patient. That's a, That's a trait I've always admired in the Indians. Willingness to please. Jeez. <laughs> uh, 
awful weather. What? Terrible food. What? Okay, yeah, you deserved it. <laughs> Why didn't you just cap him right here, bro? That's what I'm saying, man. This man had patience like nothing. Peasants, they liked us. Never had any trouble with us. I would have killed him here. He did it more personal. Some of my uh, friends, not me, my students, they protest with commoners. Students. Communists. They incited the common people. Just gotta choke them <laughs> out. Everything is because of communism, I guess. I also educated. But you seem rational. You are here in the heart of the British Empire, making a good, honest, lawful living like us. HSRA, hmm. Hindustan Socialist Republican Association. Is this organization still active? You worked with Bhagat Singh too, didn't you? Bhagat Singh, you're about Oh. And they're not going to let you walk away from this this time. They're going to hang you like they did Bhagat Singh. You know, rebels are called rebels. If you have rights, you are a rebellion. Okay, I am a rebel. Now we are terrorists. Terrorists and revolutionary are different. Revolutionary is symbolic. Revolutionary is just one fight. And that is the freedom of freedom. And all the freedom of freedom. जब ये तेईस साल का था तब ये क्या कर रहा था Oh, here we go. I was just married. We well, were expecting our first ball. Happy days. But don't talk about Bhagat Singh. The two men responsible for throwing bombs at the Central Assembly Hall in Delhi, Bhagat Singh and Batu Keshwa Dutt. Both men did not flee after the act, but willingly courted arrest, throwing pamphlets that cited their rationale for the bombing to make the death here. Police have successfully raided suspected hideouts in Lahore and Saharanpur. Damn. Oh, fine back. Admi ko mara ja sakta hai. Uske vicharon ko nahi. Aur jis vichar I don't agree with bombing buildings, but I like the sentiment he said about revolution. ہمارے <laughs> Between you and me, what's your real name? According to this peddler license that was issued in Bournemouth in 1933, you're Udam Singh. You haven't got a lot of time left. It's important for your own sake, and we know what your real name is. <laughs> Why the fuck would that matter? What do you mean for my sake? Ram Muhammad Singh Azad. It's a combination of several different, several different cultures and places. No, it is symbolic of Indian religious unity. We need to control the press. No matter what we do, there will be many who will see his actions as an act of revolution. But that can't happen. <laughs> <laughs> but what about our burden? I said it at that time. Winston? Why yeah. Just, why I was responsible for a monstrous event and cannot allow that to affect our decision making. Mm, so, I should. This business has to be ended here. India protests every day. We don't get to see it, thankfully. <laughs> London does not protest anymore. And prolonging this trial will only ensure that. There are a lot of Indian soldiers fighting for us in this war. A meek surrender to this madman would be to embolden the voices of rebellion. We can't afford to be seen as weak. I understand. After the war, will the crown quit India? We will need to reinvent a way of maintaining our strategic presence. Okay. It's a typical politician answer. <laughs> yeah. Is this incident a threat to the British Empire? This is a stray incident by a crazed lunatic who has no further links. Damn. He's already talking. You're just beating the shit out of him for shits and gigs. <laughs> I think Udam is also a name he just made up for himself that means like roar or uproar, like a lion or something. 
Is that Nick Hollison? So, he tried to kill your supervisor. <laughs> what? And what? No, he was a person who was a threatened him. Well, it still shows clear criminal intent. Really? Does it? No, not criminal. He just said he threatened him. No, he said he raised his voice. But the homie didn't translate it. What well. a fucking shit ass translator. Man, a habitual criminal. Accustomed to threatening people. Take his statement. Why, Did he ba why is it bother investigating mm. if you are going to create your own narrative anyway? Because like, you can say you interviewed the guy and he's not going to know enough English to protest. <laughs> That's the eternal question, isn't it? You must really hate the British. No. Mere bahut se British dost bhi hain. So is this just revenge? Michael O'Doyer, India mein British imperialistic system ke evil ko represent karta tha. Main uske khilaf hoon. O'Doyer embodied British imperialism in my country. Hey, hey translate it correctly. You better use the word evil. Hey. Say the evil part. I don't hate you. You doing your job. Yeah. Bruh. That's his friend. Sign your confession. Mm -mm. Write down. You helped him purchase the guns twice. I'll ask you for the last time. But you can't take to the streets and be like, they pretty much forced us to sign to get, what, a more solid uh, persecution. It's all about the clearances for the police, man. Damn. What? He didn't sign it. Damn. Kampur me, Padahuata. I studied law after coming here. Koi country kisi insan ko punish kare to law. Or koi country kisi country ke against crime kare. Kya apka law se crime manta. You will have to cooperate if you want me to present your defense. So let's start from the beginning. When did you plan the assassination? Back home to that sermon next week. Salesman. I need a job, sir. Come round to the house. Let's see what we can do for you. Really? Damn, dude. This guy is... Went to the house? Keep your enemies close. That's the guy he shot, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, now he knows all his plans and shit. Don't tell me he was chauffeuring this guy around. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, wow. yeah, I wonder why. You collect it. What other information can you collect? You want it to be the right moment, too, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. Timing is everything. Nope, out here would be perfect. Yeah. Fell into the ice. But then no one would uh, no one would see it, too. So like, I guess it's about the public being witness to it as well. Right. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this dude has self-control, man. I think it's really difficult for him to kill. He's just trying to muster courage. Mm. Mm. Where were you in April 1919? Oh God, you're really cutting Indeed. straight to the chase. I remember, you told me. Working in the factory on the railway. They deserved it. I'm grateful. Something bothering you, sir? Would you kill a man to save 10? If I believe it to be true. 10 men to save 100, 1,000. <laughs> I'm about to do that shit right shit. now. Depends. You agree? No. You just said it depended on the circumstances. Circumstance? Yes. What one goes through, I know about it. You know nothing. Fear is a deterrent. Oh, I hate this guy. Like, he's already dead and I know he's gone, but I hate him right now being alive. I ended Gandhi's soul force with brute force. There were women, children. Wounded. The relatives carried them away. Carry away how, sir? There was curfew. There was martial law. Shoot at sight orders. People afraid to take people to hospital. Nonsense! When he stopped firing, that was the sign that it was good for them to go. <laughs> <laughs> so, you don't think it was brutal? It was sufficient. Kill him! Shoot him now! He was faced with a seditious mob. He created fear, but it was sufficient. Going to sleep. Like Too peaceful. Mm -mm. Bugging was yeah. saying, like the British life, just go eat, sleep, wake up, do it all again. So you left the job. Yeah, timing. Sheesh. Was he there during the London bombings? Why don't you finish your flipping job, idiots? I'll catch your wages. Come on. पागलों जैसी बातें मत किया करो तुम ये कर दूंगा वो कर दूंगा वॉर की वजह से सबको सस्पेक्ट किया जा रहा है वॉर के बाद शुरू करेंगे गोपी का साहब वॉर के बाद बहुत देर हो 
जाएगी नो आइडिया लॉन्ग दैट्स गोइंग टू बी प्लान करना है एक्शन तो अभी इसी वक्त करना है और यहां क्यों क्या है कि भगत सिंह के बाद में हमारा पूरा मूवमेंट ही खत्म हो गया अगर हमने यहां लंदन में ब्रिटिश के हार्ट में कुछ कर दिया हमारा पूरा मैसेज पूरे वर्ल्ड तक जाकर रहेंगे क्या हम ये है क्या हमारे पास हम फोड़ेंगे हिंदुस्तान में जाकर फोड़ेंगे बम गन है तुम्हारे पास मैं यहां से चले जाऊं तब इट वाज द गाय ही बीट अप द प्लेस ही वाज वर्किंग इन नो दैट वाज लाइक सम बार फाइट और समथिंग ओह दैट्स राइट कल दूजा तुम्हारी छीनेगा जंग बड़ी बेमान चीज है आपको लगता है आप जीतते हो कोई नहीं जीतता हेटरेड विन पत्ता पत्ता बूटा बूटा हाल हमारा जाने गुल ही ना जाने बाघ तो सारा जाने फिनिश फ्री स्पीच दिस वॉज रियल गाय मैन है all these thoughts in his head about revolution the manager is afraid of the owner the owner is afraid of the regime it's all just cascading from the top wait over there for 5 minutes calm the people it's a british india right yeah this was the perfect place to do it <laughs> if he was talking about india as well still is assassination the answer i don't know I mean, how else do they fight? They have no voice to be heard anywhere, so it's hard to say what they should have done or what he should have done. Right. Passing children from major cities to rural areas. Mr. Neville Chamberlain is set to meet the French Premier. Like how we're seeing different angles of him going in now, a little different perspective. He's like testing the security and shit. Ah, he got a job there, man. This guy is wow. <laughs> he got the job like right before it happened. That's how he was able to just wa- walk in. Did he hide the gun there earlier then? Oh, he put it in the book. Mm. Dude, how long did that take? Oh my god, <laughs> hours. Damn. Make sure there's a few pages to cover it up too. There you go. Get your table little treat. Yep. Last meal, kind of. Man, anybody could have seen him like take that shit out. You remember me, my fucker? Kis saal intezar kiya maine? Shit. Murder ko protest manega ya protest ko murder manega? Aapka British law. The trial of Crown versus Singh will be presided over by Mr. Crown versus Singh. Damn. I didn't think we'd be getting like a courtroom drama. Let's go. Outpouring of support by native Indians in favor of the accused. You taking the hint yet, Brent? Leave the fucking country. Please take oath. He has requested to take oath on a book of his choice. Indian folklore, a classical romance. Here, Ranja. State your name for the record. Shoot me. Proceeding is a waste of time. Just shoot me. State your name. I'm Muhammad Singh Azad. Your real name. He did just did. Jam Singh. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Not, not a guilty. simple question. Not guilty. Doyer was guilty. You are guilty. Your policies are guilty. I'll ask you one more time. I protest it. Your whole British Empire is trading. statements by the man who sold you an illegal firearm was a protest against you you britishers have plundered us finish that economy that's enough yes that is enough it is time for you to leave my country will you stop this political ranting i hope people are taking pictures and writing this down and the orders of the court the press would not report on any statements made by the accused fuck that the members of the press understand this yeah we ain't going to do that fuck you i have uh, reached my verdict What? The <laughs> <laughs> accused should be hanged till death. Take the pictures, take the pictures. Shout it outside too. Mmm, chunky soup. Hunger strike? Damn, dude. He's refusing all food, sir. Don't make him laugh, sir. I thought they sentenced him to He's death. Stopped. Yeah, but maybe like I mean, they got to hold him on takes a week or two. Do it on a rainy day. In that time, he's not going to accept shit. Oh, they're going to make him eat. Feeding. Yeah, they are going to pound down and put some pieces in his mouth. Just going to pour it in. Yeah. I know they're feeding him, but it's inhumane. Mm. It's inhumane. Uh, dude. Ooh. Mm. Just gonna put it right into your stomach or your lungs if they miss. Cause what the fuck is this? You can kill him like that. 
I can't tell the faces I'm seeing. Like that cop feel sorry for him. Yeah, They're, I, like, I couldn't like, tell either. Like, damn, like is he right? You know? Yeah. yeah. Some people, just a lot of British people, probably like. Hans, I mean, he's right. Are we the baddies? Should we just get out of their country? Maybe. Memories are all you got. So, did she bring those little sweets from work to work? <laughs> he knew he likes the sweets. I know you're not a killer. You've never killed anyone before in your life. What happened that day? What changed you? God, here we go. Fuck. There we go. The Rollet Act, I think, is what they were. <gasps> the protest. Golden Temple. What did the Rollet Act do? The British did not have to have a trial to persecute criminals, so it just skipped like the due process or any any trial. So they're like, fuck that. It's crazy how history repeats itself, and like you see the same kinds of things happening, you know. Well, you never learn. Gandhi has left Delhi for Amritsar. Arrest Gandhi. Arrest all the college students. Put them in a detention center. Cut all the civilian telephone lines. Damn. Newspapers. Destroy tomorrow's editions. No more publication until further orders. A protest has been called at Jallian Mullabag, but it's likely to be peaceful. It's going to be political, yes? Yes, sir. No it's a fucking gun. protest, goddamn. Yes. Call for General Reginald Dyer. The entire Old City area has witnessed acts of rebellion and rioting. How many dead? The deaths of five Englishmen have been confirmed through the reports of a political assembly near the Golden Temple tomorrow. Good evening, General. He wasn't even there. He's I can't. The it is your job to get it back. I will need your permission to proclaim martial law. You must act as you deem necessary. Revolution is a dangerous game. I want to set a precedent. Punishment of itself is not necessarily a deterrent. But if the punishment is such that it creates a fear of punishment, that will be of great practical value. I almost don't want to see it. I don't know I if know, I should man, show it or not. Like, I think it's important to I, depict, I but I don't know if I want to see it. It's pretty fucking brutal. Because they were like walled in. There was no escape. More than two? Yeah, I'm getting nervous. My heart's like beating. I mean, they planned on killing them from the start. Yep. Super premeditated, man. Like ordered from the general. Happening, like right at the Golden Temple. Oh my kids! Yeah, this is necessary. Like, it's peaceful. It's literally peaceful right now. Shooting at your own people, too, man. I know the Indians in the army. He's got to feel a type of way about not going. Yeah. Should we issue a warning, sir? They've had their warning. Mm. No meeting. There's nowhere. Where do you go? There's nowhere to go. Oh my god. I don't know if I can watch this. We have to see this though. We have to see the brutality of this. A bullet to that guy's face and some others in that chamber doesn't even compare. Just a footnote in your history. But you weren't even there when the firing started. So why? What? What did you see? I was late, very late. Said he was taking a day off. I mean, that tells you about his personality back then. He wasn't really political or anything. Like he didn't really care, you know. <laughs> Most 
सूखा हो ओट सूखे हो या जरा सी बची हो पानी कैसे मांगते हैं उसे गले कैसे उतारते हैं सांस बस जाने वाली हो तो रूह कैसे संभालते हैं This just makes me mad. Mm. So like 20,000 people in like a small, I mean like, it's not a small city. But Was it 20,000? Yeah, bro, 20,000 people total. I heard the British reported there were like 400 deaths, but it was a lot more than that. I wanted to say, you know, they didn't need to show the kids getting shot, but they, yeah, they did. Yeah. They, I mean, as fucked as it is to watch, that's a historical accuracy. Rishma! Rishma! They really shot everybody that was there? And didn't stop. Okay. And not one soldier was like, oh. Yeah, like the Indian soldiers too, just <laughs> following orders. I would have shot Dyer. They're afraid of the manager, he's afraid of the owner, who's afraid of the oppressor. And like no help in cleaning the bodies. Like they, they just have to do this all themselves. Oh yeah, right? they just left them there. Look at all the shell casings. Just you guys had to reload. Like you were consciously doing all this shit. Yeah, it wasn't even like automatic weapons. It was like no. single fire. Every bullet was personal. I know it's been a little over a hundred years since this has happened, but I mean, this still feels really recent. No relief effort. This is just. I'd have shot the fuck out of that guy too, and everybody in that room. Yeah, there weren't enough bullets in the gun. Yeah. It's like what Dwyer said to him. Would you kill one to save a hundred? A hundred to save a thousand? Definitely will kill your ass to stop this shit from ever happening again. Mm, that hits heavy. <laughs> This is the shit that you don't see or think about. 21 years ain't that long when this night lasted a lifetime. Right. Wahe Guru is like a, a prayer that you say, by the way. So just keep saying over and over again. This, uh... Fuck, man. This movie was actually brilliantly paced from showing this at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, it makes you question it, and then when you show it, it's like, oh, hands down, he made the right move. <laughs> Haven't lifted the curfew. Yeah. No painkillers, nothing, man. So fucking tired. That is crazy. It's such a small confined area though that they really easily executed everybody there. Like I don't even think you could play dead. They reactively closed all the gates too. Mm -hmm. if, if you did play dead you'd just get in trampled. Trampled oh, yeah. He still hasn't found her either. He did, didn't he? Yeah, I did. Didn't he say sister? Sister? No. no. It's just he it's calls just everybody okay. brother or sister. Yeah. Hey! 
नहीं 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 � Running on pure adrenaline. There has been a firing up on a crowd in Amritsar. Casualties? Don't know, sir. Wounded? Hundreds. Martial law, Are you fucking kidding me right now? You're imposing martial law right now. Oh, no. She pregnant? Yeah. I wonder how many he saved. That's one of the same thing. I wonder if anybody even survived. Some survivors, for sure. They don't have any medicine or anything. It's realistic that he hasn't found her yet either. Like, I don't even know if he does. Oh, fuck, I was worried about that. Dude, the struggle that they're showing is so real. No, like, like ruthless. Your <sighs> action has been approved, sir. Is the curfew to be kept on? Keep it on. Announce a relaxation at 8 a.m. They will need to bury and burn their dead. Yes, sir. Sit quiet out there. Yes, sir. He died in 29. I wonder why. I don't know what I'm going to do. 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 Man, you don't need to tell him that. You must ask for a pardon. You live. I am to meet my friend. Please, you don't. There's no way they would give him a pardon. I'm surprised he's still referencing God in the afterlife because I've heard he became atheist at some point. I don't think we heard her name ever. Rakshmi. Sir? Bugget scene. Hmm. Maybe the one above he was talking about was Bugget Singh. Maybe that's all he believed in. This temple is like the holy temple, so this is like very significant imagery. These are holy waters. And he's essentially being born again to his new ideology. Yeah, that was fucking amazing. Like, <laughs> Man. I had no idea about uh, any of it at all, and it left me wanting to research more into it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Because that was, yeah, that was wild how they depicted it. Yeah, I'm most interested to hear your guys' thoughts on it. I went with the deliberate intention of 
opening fire. Don't you think that the firing went on for too long? A small amount of firing is a criminal act. My idea was to make a wide, strong impression. I was going to teach them a lesson. Jeez. He didn't even go get that. That is really? the one thing I was going to Google. <sighs> did they, yeah, did they ever really acknowledge that? Bro, that, that, that means the crown got to like, acknowledge. The crown ain't going to At this point, if this, this movie came out and is telling this story. Gee, the crown ain't going to acknowledge, I'll tell you that. That means they're going to have to like look past other stuff, too. Yeah, his ashes were spread in India. Yeah, man, there's a lot. Mm. Like, he, he even went to America at one point, in, in Canada. So like, They mentioned it. Yeah. E even as long as this movie was, this is still like in a nutshell, you know. Yeah, Amritsar, Amritsar is like a very sacred city, so like the fact that it happened there too. But, uh, like the Golden Temple is like, I'd say like the equivalent of like the Mecca of Punjab. So mm. it's like it's like the place. Yeah, yeah. That makes yeah. it. Gives you a lot to more reflect fucked on. up. Good yeah, <laughs> man, primarily Indian director. Editing, writing. Yeah, I think it was uh, shot in Punjab too, man. Well Cause like it was very like uh, authentic. My grandma had a like farm there, and she had like chickens, and she would like grow spices or like dry up spices on the roof. And there was like a sugar cane field across the street, and so it was just like hitting some, <laughs> unlocking some memories for me as I was watching mm. this, just being in Punjab. I like stories like this because you know they didn't. <sighs> I mean, I would say they have a duty to tell it, but this easily could not have happened, and then millions of people around the world wouldn't have known this story. Mm, like, yeah. did, did you I know no Sadar them before this? No, like, I mean, I, I had heard my parents like tell the story, but like, I mean, you know, it's just like adults talking, so I, um, no, not really, not really. No. Yeah, I'd say this is like Hollywood or filmmaking used at its best, even though it's depicting something really fucked up and out of context. You might have people like. We don't need to be showing children being shot and like body parts flying and eyeballs being shot. But no, it's, you do. Yeah, you do. Like, yeah, I mean, they didn't need it to happen to. That's them. what happened. Yeah. <clears throat> so as brutal as it was, and as brutal as it was, lengthening that whole post ordeal of him getting the bodies to and fro. That's the other shit you don't even think yeah. about. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't do anything to help clean that up. That I was, was all left on that. I was watching um, a video that was kind of did a video essay about this. I wanted to know more about it, but like the massacre, they shot into the crowd and then people tried to hide. And then if they tried to come out, they would shoot them again. So that's what the people weren't just falling into the well. They were They're taking hiding, refuge man. in the well and it filled up with like the entire well filled up with bodies. It's fucking, yeah, it's, uh, it, humanity's, it's just fucked up, man. Yeah. And like you said, this is just a footnote in history. I mean, there's so many instances of fucking just awful shit like this in every culture and every corner of the world. And it's, it's like, imagine even the times where the records couldn't keep. This, this, this always happens, man. And it's, yeah. And it was literally like, for what? To teach them a lesson? And what's mm -hmm. the lesson to, like, just try to follow fear. order the wrong person in the wrong Oof. position of power can have such a rippling effect throughout history and I mean, they were talking about like Hitler and shit in this movie but like I mean just the oh Dwyer guy like well what if I or, like you know, yeah I, I like that they kept mentioning that you know like Hitler which we consider to be like you know mm -hmm. yeah. especially in Europe like for us like if you mention Hitler that's like the Antichrist equivalent right. you know what I mean yeah. and like um, and obviously my country has a fair share of events over the last hundred years that were similar to this, but mm. the fact that I never heard about this is egregious. I also yeah. didn't know that many Indians fought in the war, like uh, both world wars like that. I don't know if this was already said, but something that he said in the movie that he said like, this history is going to be a footnote and part of British history, but it's going to be like a huge note in Indian history, mm. which is weird because like even in like in college and high school when I take my history classes like they'll talk about like how British you know ruled over India but they never talk, told us about this event in general mm -hmm. like this well, was definitely a footnote in British history that's right because they never really covered it mm -hmm. well I mean you could see how they were controlling the media like in the courtroom they were like don't don't you know you're not allowed to write what he's saying yeah so uh, it was I guess the thing that when we Every time we think about, like, it got overshadowed by the Holocaust, if you will. You know what I mean? Like, well, we always think Hitler was 
the worst, which definitely, yeah, he, he's on the list. Mm. This he's on like, a long list. Yeah, like, you know, it's, yeah, that's it. It's, yeah, it's a, a long, long list, list kind of a deal. Yeah. And like seeing this, because there's literally had no idea that anything like this ever happened. Yeah. yeah. Um, I like how they really depicted it with the time that it all took. Like, yeah. the last like 45 minutes, maybe even an hour was. I know, it was just ruthless. It was the, you know, the massacre and then him just trying to do what he could as far as like for his people and that the mm. other and now the entire movie makes sense yeah. like I do yeah. I do like that they ended with it because that's what you should be left with like inside yeah I, I like that it didn't follow what might have been like a expected uh, progression for a story like this like you show the massacre mm -hmm. in the beginning and then you follow his journey into doing but like it was yeah. very segmented and it, it got a you know it was a little hard to follow in the beginning but I really like how they did this yeah by Me the too. end of it it's like the point was mm -hmm. not that he killed this guy it was the fact that this, this is happened. why yeah, yeah. This is, this is why he happened. did it pay attention to this part who fucked yeah. this white dude yeah. that died like this was just a vicious time around the world, man. I mean, you know, not just the Holocaust or this event, but I mean, just everywhere. There was just people dying like this everywhere. Like, again, not to, like, we're not downplaying the Holocaust at all. Like, it's definitely one of the most fucked up things that's ever happened in the history of man. Yeah. To call, like, the Germans, like, the Nazis are the bad guys, but then, so the British are good guys? No. But then they're, and then this is what was there. I mean,. Doing. You know, I mean, like, sorry, but British did it first. Yeah, <laughs> they went and occupied other territories before Hitler ever did. had the idea yeah. to do that. So fucking imperialism. Um, yeah. this movie was actually nom uh, nominated for Oscars and everything. It was actually going to get submitted, but they pulled it out of the Oscars because of the political climate. What? Or, yeah, they was actually. I thought it was nominated. And they pulled it out. Who pulled it out? Like the, the, the whole, the whole, the whole, the whole community. Like I got it. I got an email from the guy who actually like told us to watch this, yeah. and he told me that this was done really well, um, and it was actually nominated. But they at the last minute they pulled it because of the political climate. That just shows again the bullshit. Is it the Oscar, yeah. like the what Oscar committee climate? decision, or was it like? From the Indian side. I, I mean, I, I'll pull up that email. Is it because, like, from him, but yeah. there were some pro socialism messages in this? I mean, I know there was a lot of communist talk, and I mean, no one likes to view the Communist Party in any. But I don't think anyone would, like, take that from this movie. Yeah. You know? Yeah. That no, was, like, the no, worst. No. Like, that was, I think that would be, like, the very last thing that you take. Just so some shit that was going on. Also, some people that you <laughs> might have had to ally with that were unsavory individuals, like Russia, like the you know, IRA. Like, the IRA. I mean, Cause you I had really, to do shady things to be able to get to that point to do that. So. Cause uh, I really did hope that it was actually they they, they kept it just because like being a movie that's associated with that is actually going to carry more awareness. More people are going to want to watch this movie that weren't thinking about watching it, mm -hmm. and now more people know about were knowing about this. But now since like they Dick took it away, now that mean people are going to know about mm -hmm. it, and now better people are going to know how much like how he was a great fucking actor. He did really really well. People want to see that performance, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Maybe the fact that they pulled it out is also a good um, like negative PR. Sure. Maybe that will. Also I, I feel like the Oscars has been like also kind yeah, of on, on the decline for a few the years now. They to get an it's Oscar. It's such a and stupid. Like, it's just it a, doesn't even mean it's anything. Just they, a, yeah, it's just you like have to be a part of a group. Like, you have so, to be a part of the Emmy group where the, and only the people in the group can vote there. So, like, yeah. <laughs> why am I? You're not going to jump in there if you don't have it's anyone the that's going to support. It's the Grammys of the film industry. Right. Like, the Grammys are run the same way. Yeah, no one's going to support it if they don't. Cool. You know I mean? Why, I'm not going to become a member and pay for your stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, like, it's like lobbying just like any other politics. But, like, an Indian movie has won in the past. Like, there's... I mean, I'm not counting Slumdog Millionaire, but no, there was another movie pie. called Lagan that won a while back, and that was also a movie that took place uh, during British, British period, rule. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it, it depicted the British, like historically accurate, but not violent like this. You know what I mean? Like they played a game of fucking cricket. And, well, I mean, and, yeah, and I'm sure. I'm movie. sure. I mean, like everything comes with a spectrum. So I'm, you know, I mean, obviously British was very oppressive to India, but I can't imagine that everybody was so evil that they would shoot at children you know like i mean the nazis though <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. people will follow and you know sometimes so it's and, we um, can't even say that i like when um um there was one of the flashbacks when he was with his uh with his girl and he mentioned something about um Adu, uh, oh, sorry. He was talking to the homeless guy in the park, mm -hmm. and he said something about flower um, leaves and uh, the, the, like the garden the shrubs. Like the roots. Know about our uh, plight, but one flower blooms and the rest will follow. Mm -hmm. Like they can mean both. 
like you know if you be the symbol of good you know others will follow but at the same time you know that flower is a fucking poison ivy <laughs> mm. just sprout more of that yeah he never found that girl either that was that that's real realistic yeah. Yeah, i mean mm. Mm. I mean, I mean, you know, nobody, I guess, agrees with assassination, but uh, well, I one, do. one, I fuck know. that guy. But two, <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I really don't think that there's any. I mean, like, when you're so oppressed that you have literally, like, he said, poetry was illegal. Like, it, when every ounce of your expression and your voice is taken away, I don't. I mean, what else can you do to get your point across? You know? Yeah, that. Mm-hmm. I, I, it's when he started popping other people that was like oh shit do they deserve it but you're also looking at a guy who's spent 21 years doing all kinds of things living all kinds of lives doing all different jobs to get to this point mm-hmm. at that point he's going to take well, out he, whoever he knew, represents he knew, the man he, he knew what, who was in the room because he was like because when they showed him the casings he was like four casings there were six casings that means like Zeltan like well, whoever what, I, the the bullets were actually I, like I heard that they they didn't fit the size of the gun. I'll also go on a, out on a limb and say every single person in that room was ultra racist. <laughs> yeah. Most likely, most, most, likely. most, likely. most yeah. likely. But then, then again, you never know. They also. might have been yeah. press and like people like that. Yeah, they were attending that. Observing. Yeah, if they're attending that sort of event, I, I suppose so. But yeah. so the bullets weren't actually fit for that gun. So that's why the others were just wounded because they didn't fire at the proper speed. Mm. But the fact that Dwyer died is like, hmm, nothing would have stopped his conviction to kill that guy. Even right. if they were fucking wrongly fitted bullets, he still went down. And I think, uh, I don't know if it was you or somebody says like, the people that were shooting them were also Indian, but like, they were Indian in the, I think the British army, so like, they had to follow the superior. They, they were probably from a different part of India, maybe, because like, because even uh, Punjabi soldiers in the military, like, they wouldn't cut their beards and they have like turbans or whatever, so like, they, they were probably from a different, but it's like, still, like, it's, you're in India, that's still your fellow. Yeah, but like, I mean, they're like, they like, so they, they were given an order. It's like, they, if they don't obey their order, like, seeing what they're doing right now, it's like, yeah. like this is actually worse. Like, what's the worst could have happened to them? I think like, they're just going to survive them all. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, I mean, to speak to that, I mean, you know, like, Britain aside, unfortunately, there is a lot of civil unrest in India or, uh, you know, I, I don't know how, what the climate is like today, but, like, fuck The farmers' protest? Y- y- yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, I mean, there's so many different cultures of Indian and unfortunately th- there is yeah. a lot of internal racism i really liked his tattoo True. um you know it just kind of like unifies and again that is a very socialist you know yeah. worldview and i mean i don't understand like if if you guys are right and this movie was pulled out because of socialist portrayed i it was, was in this a way. political climate i'm just assuming i'm, I'm just gonna uh, yeah i mean whether it's assumption or not, I mean, it needs to be said that, like, at that point in time, even communism was not a bad ideology compared to imperialism, compared to, like, all these other versions of colon- colonization. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, obviously Russia decided to uh, fuck it. That, and that is <laughs> an interesting point because we talk about like... Back then, back then, she's clarifying communism back then. That's, so, that's what I was... I mean, no, <laughs> and also be, back then there were, I mean, even like in Russia, there were pogroms at that time, mm-hmm. which, I mean, basically a different murder of Jews. I mean, yeah. that's... It, it's it's been happening everywhere. Yeah. Just, that's just that's just what I was about to say, though. These terms come up in modern day and debate and it means something different to us now but i think that like yeah. pe- people fail to understand the like you said the context of the time yeah. and i mean because like there could... weren't many options it's either like you're oppressed or we all yeah there, there weren't it's like no option was really you know perfect or good it's just well i mean you consider we consider a capitalism good but yeah literally just three weeks ago a report came out about how the united states assassinated like 70 people somewhere and they burned them because they were trying to cover it up and it came out just because someone covered it in a, in the news mm-hmm. and that happened like years ago and no one investigated it and that's the thing like they they at the end of the movie there's so many unclassified um or, or classified documents pertaining to this guy still like this story mm-hmm. is like yeah done it over i mean there we'll we'll never really know what's happening behind the veil you know that yeah yeah there's still so many like unclassified i mean classified information about 
assassination on MLK since you know JFK. that was yesterday. JFK, Malcolm. There's yeah. just so much shit that we don't Fucking even know about. Pac and Biggie. I don't care. I'm rolling them in. So how, yeah. how, how do we get to see them? You had to be the president to see those classified. I yeah, think I, so, but I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't who, even think the president is pretty. CIA, yeah, CIA yeah, has CIA. access. To, I would say the CIA is the one that classifies uh, documents. CIA or yeah, yeah, you know, we need somebody hack the CIA. Uh, Snowden. Snowden tried, <sighs> or he did. I mean, you yeah, know, we didn't get to see the classified. So, but uh, this movie was actually recommended by Ankit Yadav. He was the one who brought it to us our attention. Um, so that what he actually said with this movie, um, well, he wanted us to do the obviously the reaction, but he said it was considering as an official submission for the Oscars 2022, but was not submitted due to political issues. So was that political issues in so it like was America not or I'm guessing probably there was India, in, probably India. There's yeah. pro- I don't know. There's probably it was probably a little bit of everything, like internal politics with the Oscars and like perception of the movie, and like I'm sure it was a mixture of things. But yeah, thanks to who was that? Ankit. Ankit. And and the hundreds of people that were commenting about this. <laughs> there were a yeah, lot. I'm glad we watched this. <laughs> I know it was very long. And um, Spidey, this might be your first Indian Indian movie you've seen, probably. Oh, with you guys, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Bria Daddy. loves. Oh my, God, I forget. There's this three movie idiots. In, uh, the, huh? Was it Three Idiots? I think. I, no, I, I forget what it's called. There's a lot of dancing in it, and so she likes a lot of Bollywood movies. And yeah. Too, All right, sweet. But no, this was this is the most uh, informative one I've ever seen. Yeah, this, yeah. Is, this is a. Uh, it wasn't like a typical Bollywood film. Nah. Yeah. It was really, really this, good. This was like. Yeah. Very unexpected. This story time further uh, strengthens my thing about like Indian folks and black folks being kind of similar. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At least this is like. I'm not saying it's comparative one to one, but but I, I always felt like there were similarities between our upbringing and our culture and our oppression as yeah. well. Black I mean, and MLK brown, liked yeah, MLK. Like I said Gandhi was one of his inspirations. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it was happening around the same time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, isn't Gandhi not a good person either? I just I, I heard people about say that. there's yeah. some uh, unfavorable traits. He did some. He did some things. Yeah. I don't think but, any human is perfect. Yeah, yeah that's exactly. Thing, like, In terms of political ideology and of like forms of protest, he, it, I mean, I don't think, I don't blame Gandhi for this. He is known to have started peaceful protest and like the, the way of resist, this kind of way of resisting, but he was not the one who started, like there was thousands of protests that were peaceful like this In, all across India before Gandhi became known for that. Mm-hmm. Um, and a lot of them, or in like Tibet, I think. I don't I don't know the facts and the history exactly, but I know that like something is ascribed to him um, as like, you know, the symbolic type of resistance, but it's not necessarily like his contribution. Mm-hmm. He, he took it from somewhere else. I don't know if he ran with it as his own or if that's just how history interpreted his action. Mm. And then he also apparently did some, uh, yeah. something to women. Yeah, something like yeah. that. So. The only thing I heard about MLK is like he was a womanizer or something. I'm like eh. MLK. MLK. That's what I. That's, yeah. that's MLK had a that's wife. What I heard. Yeah, yeah, no, but like I heard he was like he also was like a womanizer. But you know that's just a rumor. Whatever. But the point is, no one's perfect unless you're Bernie Sanders, I guess, or AOC. <laughs> and I bet Bernie's got some fucking. You Bernie? Uh, Everybody, Bernie? Bernie? Bro. Everybody's got skeletons in their closet, man. That's the thing. Bernie, what's in your closet, you bro? Can, that, what is he? That, that's the thing I've come to uh, learn with, like, you know, time is, like, you can, like, admire people but never hold absolutely anyone on a pedestal. Mm-hmm. You will always be disappointed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, admire the actions that, that they yeah, took. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Well. Fuck. That was heavy. <laughs> heavy that was stuff. Definitely. Yeah, uh, very different Normie's heavy. reaction. I hope you all you all felt informed. Uh, please watch this movie if you didn't. If you were just catching our opinion on it, mm-hmm. um, to our Indian brothers and sisters, we do definitely want to watch some more Bollywood movies. Maybe some more uplifting ones. Uh, <laughs> that is a mean part. And yeah, let us know in the comments down below what your what that your thoughts are on this this whole spiel, this whole drama, and um, we'll see you next time. Yeah. Peace. Bye. Bye. Bye.